We were headed east and north in the direction of Tripoli when we saw this. Hundreds of rebel troops, mostly very young, fueling up and getting battle ready. This was no drill. In battered old pickup trucks loaded with ammunition and weapons, the rebels head off to the changing front. The reports are that Gaddafi loyalist forces have been pushing back and gaining ground that had been won before. In fact, the rebels said they'd not only won real estate, but had also seized tons of weapons and taken hundreds of prisoners, some admitted mercenaries and others offering to defect. How do you think this war will end? A rebel colonel told us his forces were aiming for the Gaddafi stronghold of Garyan, some 60 miles from Tripoli. Many groups. And that in Tripoli, there were rebel groups waiting for the signal to attack. We all stick together, right? Okay. But today the momentum shifted. Gaddafi forces mounting a sustained artillery attack that continued throughout the day. The new front line is just outside the town of Al-Kawalish, a town the rebels had claimed for themselves just two days ago. The front line changing by the day, sometimes by the hour. This soldier told us Gaddafi's fighters had taken back Kawalish. So rebel reinforcements raced in from the west, preparing for a protracted battle. At one point, a heavy artillery shell landed a few hundred yards from our position. Rebel troops ran up the hill to see if there were any injuries. There were none. And they rolled in more artillery of their own. The fighting continued. Mike Taibbi, NBC News, outside Kawalish, Libya.